Welcome to Divine Bold Beginnings 93. What's up, BBB 93 squad? I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel, as well as our returning subscribers for coming back. And also thank you to everyone who watches the video that aren't subscribed as well. So this reading will be our you versus them. And this reading, I feel like the energy is more based off of this new beginning. Um, everything that's coming into you will be more of like a fresh start. So with this reading, you guys, make sure you take what resonates and let what doesn't fly by by. As well as if you feel more kind of energized towards the you part, then that's for you. And if you feel like there is some parts on the them side that's for you, then make sure you take that. But definitely don't take a situation that's not for you. So make sure you take what resonates and let what doesn't fly by by. Without further ado, let's get into this reading. So the first few cards I want to go into is the angel answers. Because I feel like the energy is more of when is it coming for most of us. And for most of us, it's, you know, the energy of what's next, you know, because the energy is definitely shifting constantly. And it's like, okay, so, you know, you feel this big energy shift, but it's like, so where am I headed? It's kind of that you're out of the in-between. If you guys have watched my other videos, um, definitely you would see the difference from... Well, you will feel the difference from feeling like you're in the in-between and feeling this fresh new start. And it's like, where do I begin? Okay. Um, you could be getting synchronicities of, you know, how to start things. Um, if that's doing research, I do feel like a lot of you are getting into that. Or if that's starting a business for some of you. But I definitely feel like at this point, it's you just kind of catching your motivation to do a lot of things if you feel like things were stagnant before now it's you thriving in a higher power of just wanting to do and feeling more connected to the divine to take on anything and everything feeling optimistic the energy of optimistic is wild right <laughs> so let's get into the angel answers and then we will get into the rest of the reading you guys so we have here peaceful resolution and big happy changes. So that's the energy that I'm speaking of. It's like wanting to jump up and down for joy, but at the same time, it's knowing that you deserve this. And it's just, at the same time, it's not wanting to give up. It's okay, even though... Some of you may be dedicated towards, you know, finding love or being in love. It's still balancing between love and could be career. It could be, you know, family. Because sometimes we separate the two. Now, for some of you, I do feel like a peaceful resolution could be a, just an overall balance in general. I do feel like it could be you balancing out your mental state. Um, when I say that, it kind of brings up the energy of emotions, happiness, sad, you know, um, fears. It could be you feeling like in the past that you could have taken an offer or you felt like you were passed up for something because of your fears or you could have been so nervous about passing up something because of your fears and this is you having that peaceful resolution within yourself to know that okay maybe it wasn't for you back then but now maybe it's something out here that's better and it's not giving up on that So now I want to go into these two. And it's so funny because everything fell out in pairs. Pairs of twos. Everything fell out in pairs of twos. So you have unlikely and no need to worry. 
I feel like when the unlikely card come out, it's more of you kind of holding on to the outcome of how things will happen. You say, you know, sometimes we we get too tightly wound up in dreaming in a fairy tale. How things, you may want things to happen, right? And it's saying that even though it may happen like a fairy tale, mostly it's unlikely that it's going to happen exactly to the T of what you think that's going to happen in whatever situation you're thinking about. It's going to happen that's going to be beautiful and you see the rainbow and you see the angels are guiding you. But it's saying that part of what's going to happen is going to be beyond your imaginable dream. Excuse me. <laughs> beyond your imaginable dreams. And it's like you have to release of how you want this to come into you. But it's definitely no need to worry about it because it's still going to come into you. What's yours is yours. No one can take that from you. So the next two cards we're going to go into is success. And then within the next few weeks. So I feel like this success is within the next few weeks. It's like a windfall of success. It's not going to only be like one particular thing that you're going to have success in. It's just going to be like, oh my goodness, continuous, like one thing, it's like going to be a domino effect. If you guys ever stood up dominoes and then hit one domino and it kind of laid them all down, it's it's going to be like that. It's going to be like one thing that's going to happen and it's just going to blow your mind and another thing and another thing and another thing. It's like, whoa. But you set yourself up for this. You've already prepared yourself for this chain reaction. It's like all the work that you've been putting in and you probably felt like, but I'm not seeing any progress. But slowly but surely, it's kind of like the Knight of Pentacles. Slowly and steady wins the race. And it's showing you that you keep putting in the hard work and you have success out of this. You may not have seen it right away. And you may not have seen it in the way you wanted to see it. But you were seeing success along the way. Within the next few weeks. Hmm. Very significant for some of us. Well, for all of us, honestly. Even if it's not something that's super big, if that's coming out of a negative mindset, that's still success. For all of us within the next few weeks. That's day by day striving to be better, to help others. That's still success. You can either look at the cup half empty or half full. I would rather look at it half full. How are you looking at it? That's the question, right? Okay. So. You guys, sorry about this new little setup. I'm just getting used to it. I decided to change it around just a little bit. It's going to be some more changes going on with this setup. So bear with me, bear with me. I just like the new movement mm, it's just something about it right so listen to your intuition and then if you believe i feel like when it comes into this situation your intuition is telling you everything you need to know you could be doubting this situation that's gonna happen you could be doubting things that are coming towards you um for a lot of you you could be having these dreams and the dreams are helping you or epiphanies they're showing you exactly what's going to happen or to a certain extent because you still want things to be a surprise or the divine still want things to be a surprise it could be synchronicities it could be songs um it could be words however this situation is for you because we are talking about the you versus them but this also could be you and a boss um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a love relationship, okay? So it's listen to your intuition. You are being guided. You're being divinely guided. And then if you believe. So it's going back into your manifestation skills. 
and knowing that you're a gift and you can manifest anything that you desire so again you are the light remember that and hold that to me that's kind of like what she's holding she's the light and she's shining very brightly okay and I don't know if it's significant to anyone, but right now on my clock is 1221. Okay, so let's get into these cards. We have new career. Your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, and successful direction. Ooh. Again, this could be self-employment for some of you. Um, we spoke about this a little bit in the last few readings. Not only is it that, it could be a promotion. It could be you changing, you know, locations in a job to move closer to what you desire, what you want. Um, it could just be a windfall of money coming in. Like, it could be a raise. Uh, you could get a job that you truly desired and you don't have to struggle anymore. Um, I You could got, excuse me, <laughs> you could have been laid off. And the job, you know, that you put in for, they call you back right away. Your credentials speak for themselves. Okay? So I definitely feel like that's something that's very prominent here for you. You have asked for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. This is also a card of giving and receiving. Open yourself up to being able to receive because as much as you give, you also are able to receive. Not only is it that, this is also a card that didn't fall out from the angel answers, but is allowing other people to help you. Um, we're a community. That's the best thing to say. We're a family. And allowing others to help you, you're not alone in the situations that you're going through. So... Even though you may think that, you know, no one is there to listen. Someone is always there to listen. If that means leaving a comment and, you know, someone else responds or I respond to your comments, that's part of your healing. And that's why it's ask for what you want. It's part of, I feel like, asking for help. Not feeling like you're alone. This is part of abandonment, too. Um, if you need help, ask for it because the angels are letting you know that it's resources all around you if you need it. And then you had a few more emotional healing as your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. Mm. I feel like this card speaks on its own. I feel like it definitely does. It's nothing more that needs to be said. Okay. Now these last two cards are more of a confirmation other than what the angel answers were um, saying. To me, these are a confirmation. Your desire is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. And the last one, your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. So again, that goes back into if you believe. If you believe what you want is coming towards you, it will. It will manifest. Because what you set your intentions on comes towards you. What you set your desires on comes forward. Okay? So we have a few messages. Okay. I'm going to start with these first. And the love bombs will be last. Okay? So we have, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Ooh. Now, when I first started um, going through situations, the first thing I've ever learned is we don't know why 
the divine put us through situations. But also you don't question it either. Because it's all for a purpose. It's all for a reason. And through every lesson, you level up. As long as you learn the lesson through it. Or you'll go back through the cycle and learn it even better. Okay? So, look at that. Pretty dope. Okay. Um, let me see. I feel more drawn to this one. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. And I'm, I'm sorry, you guys, if, like, my angle of how I'm placing these cards in front of the camera is off. Trust me, I'll get it together. Okay? So, you have, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Mm. okay and look at that it's so crazy how that came out you have a dm a df and the white dove mm. isn't that beautiful okay i'm just saying i'm just saying we have weight don't rush into it allow nature to take its course Mm. Then they stand together. Okay, in nature. Okay, okay, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, y'all. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. when you see a card that's of someone that's naked it's of being free having freedom i think that's so beautiful okay and the last card we have here is reflection give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith that all will work out for the best beautiful Okay, we have a few love bombs and then we're going to get into the reading. Your sense of humor makes life more fun. Thank you for everything you do. You are appreciated. I admire your confidence. You're a great role model. More than once, kind words from you have made my day. Thank you. The way you follow your dreams is, insp is inspiring. You were there when I really needed you. I am forever grateful. I admire your willingness to help others. And the last card we have here is, I admire your integrity. Okay, you guys. Hold on, let me see. Okay, I got three more that was just kind of like sliding off the deck. And I'm going to take them because I feel like that's meant for me to take them. I feel like you understand me and I really appreciate that. Mm, I see why I had to take them. Okay, there we go. I always have more fun when I'm with you. Okay. And the last one, your calming presence is truly appreciated. All right. I see why I had to take those. And that was like perfect to end it off. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to get the you first. And then we're going to scroll on down into them. 
So we're going to get the romance angels first about, you know, where you're at in this particular connection and how you're feeling about this connection. Now, these shuffles may take a, a little time, but it may not also. But I feel like at the moment, the collective is kind of quiet. Um, every Everyone is really holding tight to what's really going on and coming into this new beginning. It's just kind of like a, a private thing at this moment, you know? And that's it's kind of a good thing because it's kind of like before you act, you're, you're sitting back and you're reflecting and you're watching and you're seeing what's going on. Which is a good thing. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay. I'm going to get a few more. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Let's see. Oh, okay. We have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Now, hear me out on what I'm about to say with this card. So don't, you know, don't take this one with that message said at the bottom too much to heart because this heart to heart conversation is kind of going to trump a little bit what this is going to say at the bottom, okay? So just hear me out on what I'm saying about this. And again, if you don't feel like this is about you, this could be the them side of things. So just wait. Just listen for a second. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And then we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, so let's get into this. With the heart-to-heart -heart conversations, I feel like, which is so crazy, and I felt this the last reading that I did, things are reversed at this moment. This is more on the them than the you, if that makes sense. This is more of a divine masculine energy. This is more, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're telling me like don't don't even don't even sugarcoat it. It's more of a divine masculine energy than um, a feminine energy here. And the reason why I say that is because it's more like them coming forward than anything and expressing their emotions. I know y'all like, get on with the unrequited love. I want to hear that one, right? The unrequited love here is them, if they walked away, they feel as though... You could have lost hope in this connection. You could have lost hope in them, okay? If it's not that, they can feel your energy detaching from them, but they... they they probably, like, don't know why your energy has detached. So they feel the need to rush in. That's why you have the very soon here with the communication coming in. And I feel like the reason why you had to detach your energy is so you could work on yourself. But at the same time, it's like... Mm -hmm. It's more of going through knowing your worth and allowing them to figure out their worth. So this is, I'm just going to do it as I'm told. This is the them side. So today we're going to do this a little different. This is the them. Wanting to come in and make this communication. Want to discuss honestly what's really going on. Um, for some of them, they don't know how. They don't know. They're hoping that you just keep an open mind about things. They're hoping that when they come in towards you, 
that oh my goodness look at the bottom of their deck and i shuffled their deck they have the empress so it's like they just want this loving and nurturing energy and the next card if i had to continue to shuffle is deception and it goes right along with the heart to heart conversation it could be that they were holding back the fact that how much they truly care about you. Um, they know deep down that after all this work, they're worth waiting for. And they're hoping that you understand that they're worth waiting for. They want you to wait for them. If they see you in another relationship, they're still hoping that somewhere deep down in your heart that you're still waiting for them and they feel like even if you're in another relationship or talking to someone else parts of them feel this unrequited love like they really screwed the pooch but when they get the chance they're gonna come back in and bless you with it could be flowers it could be a gift a token of their love I feel like at this point now I'm just talking to the divine feminine about it <laughs> this attraction card here is more towards the divine feminine that's probably why i said that it's they see you loving on yourself they see you being whole and that's why they want to come in that's why it was kind of the card is not out here but when you were together and because you weren't whole it was a codependency energy like you you look to them for approval and I know some of y'all may get mad at me for saying that and I've learned through my readings that yeah sugarcoating things aren't always that good but sometimes we got to hear the rough truth sometimes we got to hear the roughness to get an honest message but they're hoping that you see that they're definitely someone that's worth waiting for and if you are in separation, they know that this separation caused this unrequited love. But they see you. They could be checking up on you. Um, social media wise, I keep getting that like they're checking up on you. And they see you just leveling up on yourself. Some of you are with someone else. And they're understanding that someone is giving you that. But if okay it, it's kind of going back and forth like they see someone is giving you the attention but at the same time it's their energy of but they still can't do it like i do it some of you are moving on from the situation but it's like a magnet it draws you back in But they, they want to come in and express their love to you and see where it goes. Even if it doesn't go anywhere, just the fact to know that they stepped up and were able to express how they truly feel and to know that you're happy at the end of the day makes them happy. Even though they feel like they could have, you know, screwed up. You have the Queen of Wands here. I feel like this is, normally I would say this is Divine Feminine, but this is them coming in with this nurturing energy and doing it, not to say they're not in their masculine form because they're, they're still in, you know, Divine Masculine, but what I'm getting from them, this is a male figure to me, even though it's a queen of wands. Wow. They're definitely protected by the divine with the black cat being there. This person is 
more nurturing, more open, more at peace. To use the word lightly, this person is more loving. Okay, this song, this is one of my favorite songs, you guys. And it's, it's constantly playing in my head right now. Um, Miguel Adorn. And this person is like literally singing this song right now in my head. It's not Miguel singing it because I know how Miguel sounds with this song. It's, it's just, let my love adore you. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> the person sounds good singing it. I'm not saying that. But this person is wanting to come in and rebuild. Rebuild this foundation, rebuild this situation. Wanting to come in and make an stable offer. Now, we do have the sun card here. So, this person feel like a child inside. It's like, hmm. It could be you bring out the child in them. You bring out the nervousness. It's like, hmm. You know how if you bring a child around someone that's new, male or female, it doesn't matter, um, and the child acts shy, that's how this person is around you. This person is like so nervous. It's it's cute though. It's a cute nervous. It's like they're so shy. They're, they're just like... I could just see a smile. Like, this person just smiles. They may not say anything. This person is a person of very few words. They just smile. But they want to give you a world. That's crazy. It's so beautiful. Like, I don't think I gave this car any justice, you guys. It's like they're the queen of action, but nurturing action, it's not, they're not too bombarding, like, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, it's like, they're not too overbearing, there you go, they're not too, like, too up in your face about it, it's like, they just want to come in with this loving nature, and just, <sighs> It's like, they just want to say hi. And I know it's like, for some of y'all, like, they just, it's weird to be like, just hi? What? Just hi? No. They just want to be like, oh, hi. Hi, hi, how you doing? How's your day going? You know? And this person, they just literally, you bring out that child aspect in them. The Page of Cups. This is such a sweet, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm trying to keep my composure. Because the divine is like, look, just get the message. Um, but I just want to be like, oh. Okay, with the page of cups being here, we go back into this person may not know how to, how to love. Lil Wayne song, how to love. <laughs> um... This person may be afraid to love. And that could be why the Queen of Wands is here with the child. Because it's like, sometimes you don't know who to trust in a situation. And you don't know if this person is, you know, malicious. I was, I was trying to sugarcoat it and they just pushed the word out. Okay, there we go. Um... This person is coming in as a page because it's that childlike energy that's fresh. You know how they say you're uh, you're wet behind the ears? I don't know if anyone knows about that saying, but yeah. I know some people may say like this this situation, this You may have been, you know, wanted to already jump to marriage and all this and all that. And not saying this person don't want to give you that. 
But this person wants to rebuild this foundation, rebuild this connection first. Even though you guys may have some great memories together. This person want to do just right. I feel like they they want to ask you like what does love mean to you? What is love? Because their form of love is not what your form of love is. And it's like you've opened up a door to them that they can't now shut. Knight of Swords. They want to rush in. They they want to talk about this. They want to talk about this new birth experience. And who do they want to talk about it with? Mm, the Queen of Cups. Now you show up. Okay. Now I can feel your energy. It's like... Before... They were guarded. Why were they, why were they guarded, right? They were guarded about coming forward about what they were truly feeling. They didn't know that this is how they supposed to feel. They didn't know that either they could have had someone in their ear. I feel like I just hear people talking to this person and it's starting to like agitate my ear right now and it's, it's annoying. But it could be someone that they trusted, especially with the Three of Pentacles. It could have been someone that they looked up to um, to tell them about how relationships are supposed to be. Um, with the Queen of Wands being here, it could have been a mother figure. It could have been just someone that was much older than them. Doesn't necessarily have to be a mother. But whoever it was to them, it could have been someone who they really wanted to please. And that's why, you know, it took them so long to come forward. Whoever this person was that came in, it could have been they weren't listen listening to this person. In the beginning, depending on what your situation was. So, this person may speak of this when you have this heart-to-heart -heart communication. But, either this person, they were trying to please them and go with the situation that pleased this person. And that's what turned them into the Seven of Wands. Which was like kind of blocking that person out. Or a karmic was part of the Seven of Wands situation where they blocked that person. Or now they're seeking advice about you from someone that is this Queen of Wands. Could be a mother figure. Asking them, you know, how does this go? Or asking someone that's much older than them or someone that has wisdom, how does, you know this work for love however it is they're coming into not doing this on their own but with the chariot being here they're balancing their yin and their yang they're balancing out their divine masculine and feminine within them I feel like this person wants to come in and protect you at all costs. But part of it was battling themselves. Battling their ego. Because y'all about, about to flip a script on the next four cards. We have the Hierophant. Mm -hmm. Okay. This person wants a higher commitment with you. Not only is it that, they want to be more spiritual with you as well. If you're connected to, like, spirituality, they want to understand what you're, you know, understanding. They want to be more connected to you in so many ways. When I say so many ways, I'm saying so many ways, okay? Um, I don't think I need to go into detail, but we know where I'm going with this. They want to be so connected to you, it's crazy, like, not only for some of you, like I said, it could be engagement right out the gate. They don't want to lose you. For others of you, it's just 
turn it into either boyfriend or girlfriend or just a higher commitment, period. Just coming to common ground and understanding each other and then moving beyond that. We have the fool card. Now, I said this in my last reading. Don't get it twisted. The fool is not a fool at all. The fool is someone that's very open. But this person is very strategic in what they do. Yeah, we may say, oh, he's not looking at where he's going. He's just jumping. Mm, don't be fooled. Okay? Because before he got to this little platform... He made sure he cleared out all his little luggage, all his baggage. Look, he only got that one little baggage right there, okay? He cleared out all that. That little karmic debt, you you know, we've been talking about, he cleared all that out. To come forward to a new beginning, to take a leap of faith. Who counterparts are here. The King of Cups. So now he's swimming in his emotions. Why? Oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. The Ten of Pentacles. Stable, stability, family life. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I need to say more, but I will say one more card, okay? I will say one more card because this person wants to come in and be all that they can be, okay? Okay, honey. They want this family life. They, they dreamt about this. And it's here. You know, oh, goodness, it just gets better from here. It gets better. The Ten of Cups, okay? Wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. Not only that, it's divine fulfillment, if that makes sense. It's like within them, they feel the fulfillment within them, not just in this connection. And I feel like they feel whole. They feel great about it and if it haven't happened yet it's gonna happen i feel like this person the communication that comes in will be steps towards this they have an idea they have a plan and they've been putting that plan in motion even if you haven't seen it and it's been being done behind the scenes this plan has already been in motion the line has been part of this plan because it's action 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 okay not only the action I feel like this is just a new beginning taking off. And oh my goodness. Intuition. Using your intuition. Now we go back to them. Because now it's, it's, it's back into their energy. It's like using your intuition, listening to the divine. Where you both go interchange through being the teacher, being the student. Student, teacher, student, teacher, student, teacher. There we go. But now, what are they? Now, what are they? Oh, my goodness. They are the king of pinnacles. That stability life they were looking for, that stability they needed and they wanted, boom. You both can build this together because, look, the ten of pinnacles is here. You build, they build, bring it together. Bada boom, bada bang. King of pinnacles. Two of cups. I don't even think I need to say anymore. I don't. Okay, I'm going to keep going one more time. I don't Because I don't want this video to be too long. And we are just a them. Okay. Bring this together. Mirroring each other. Bringing things together. In retreat. Look at that. Resting. Recovering. Healing. Because things are coming together. Ace of Cups. That conflict is falling wayside because they didn't brought things together. The conflict within themselves, fighting this connection, is over with because they're going to bring it together. They're going to tie those shoelaces up. Mm -hmm. That's this connection, y'all. The Three of Cups. Celebration, reunion. And the Magician. Okay, that's it, y'all. That's it. I, I got to leave them alone. I got to leave them alone because I got to get to y'all. I got to get to y'all. Okay. I can, I can keep going all day. Okay, let's see. Let's see, y'all. Let's What, what y'all talking about over here? This could be the one. 
you already met the romantic partner you seek. You already know that. Because there's no one else like this person. No one else gets your blood boiling like this person. No one else gives you that excitement. No one else understands you like this person, right? Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Don't give up on it just yet. It's coming. It's not in your timing. It's not in my timing. It's in who? Say it together. Divine timing. Okay? Ooh. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay? Now, I did see pay attention to the red flags. When I see pay attention to the red flags, I think of that card in this particular situation as if you're dealing with someone else, pay attention to those red flags. And that's not your counterpart. You know about that. Okay? Um, and with me seeing that, and then now I see religious factors. To me personally, I, I look at that as with the red flags and the religious factors. Look at your synchronicities. You've been getting them. Don't ignore them. Because it's, it's guiding you to where you need to be. Okay. Let's see. <gasps> okay. All right. All right. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Romantic feelings. Ooh. Okay. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And then we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So that what helps bring this together. Okay? And then we do have codependency here. Now with codependency, oh and then true love of under that. This is a romance of a lifetime. Okay. So with that codependency, I feel like wait, it's not even out here, but it was under the deck. With the codependency, I feel like you're trying to hold on to this connection too strong. To figure out when it's coming in towards you. And look at the bottom of the deck. You have the six of wands. So it's coming in. Again, we don't know when. But it's telling you to release it. Release it. Surrender to this. And allow it to come into you naturally. Let it flow naturally. <laughs> Y'all, the first card out just like literally threw me back. The sun card. Mm. That's that lighthearted energy, feeling free, feeling relaxed, feeling released in this situation. I feel like the burden is gone, okay? And again, that could be part of you detaching yourself from this situation. And that's why everything is able to come in towards you. The sun card is a new beginning, honestly. Um, I do feel like with this situation... This is you just experiencing life and enjoying life with no care. No care. Oh, no care. Ten of Pentacles, the windfall. There we go. I spoke about it. Your intuition helps you with that. It could be a business. You could be the one that's starting a business here. You could be the one that's going to carry over. I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all, this, this feels more of a business endeavor. You got options here. Options on how you want this business to happen. Options on how you want this money to come in. It's the seven of cups sometimes will be like of illusions, but I don't feel like this. I feel like this is you having... An amazing amount of things coming towards you at once. You see him like he's literally reaching out to which way do I want to pick? Which one do I want to pick today? Like that's the energy that's behind this, especially with the pinnacles being here. The family life is here. Like it's just like everything, like it's a new dawn, it's a new day, and I'm feeling good. Okay, like that's the energy behind it. Um the the seven of cups, like it's like, what are you going? What, do, what are you going to do? What do you want to do now? Like, do you want to wake up today and do something different and start something new? Like, whatever you touch turns into gold, gold pinnacles. Whatever you touch, look significant. Whatever you touch turns into gold, gold universe deck. Okay, 
Whatever you touch, turn into gold, baby. You have that ace of swords. Communication clarity. And not only is it communication from your counterpart, but it's communication with the divine. That the high priestess is here. So it's you elevating yourself. Not only is it that elevating yourself within spirituality too. Okay? Things are moving forward. And I feel like once you really get a clear understanding of like this business life and everything else guess what comes in the freaking friggin six of cups okay not only is the six of cups of reconciliation i do feel like the six of cups could be you giving back and helping other people um it could definitely be people from your past You could be giving back to your past for someone. Like, it's like you've always wanted to do this, and now you'll have the means and opportunity to. Three of Cups. Reconciliation. Celebration. You got it here with these two. Boom, boom. And if you add the six with the three, you get the nine of cups, your wish fulfillment. Because guess who's coming in? The king of cups. Now look, we got the king of cups. Y'all mirroring each other. Oh my goodness, y'all mirroring each other. Got the five of wands. But behind that, you got the strength. Okay? Now with the strength here, with the king of cups, the five of wands and the strength being here, okay? That confusion, that conflict that was going on, you got the strength to come through it, okay? Um, it could be a hiccup at first as things start out. And the reason I say that is because when we talked over here, this person really quite don't understand, like, how you find love or how you see love. And that's, that's going to be a little, just a little hiccup. Just a little hiccup. Just a titch. But you have the strength to make it through. You have the strength to come past that. I feel like also the confusion here will be all these great new things coming in for you. Boom. Then here come love. What? It's like you, you balancing everything at once. We have the four of wands here. Mm. Mm, okay. Most of us know that card as 1111. Most of us know that card as stability, that stable foundation. Most of us know that card as a home. Okay. Um, someone is seeking to move. And so coincidentally that it fell on top of that King of Cups. So, it could be you both moving together, but it could be you both getting married as well because it's kind of like an arch in a way. I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger. But this is you being about your business. This is you just being on top of your game, okay? And this offer from the King of Cups, you may not even see it coming in. The Four of Cups is here, honey. You may not even see it because you're so focused on everything else that's coming in with the seven of cups it's like oh my goodness it's more it, it's more to come like what the king of pentacles come out like uh yeah what you thought this was justice in this situation honey you better stop playing with it it's like everything that you desire is coming to and I feel like when it comes to this situation, it's, like, it's, it's kind of like it's been a long time coming, but it ain't. Because it's in right timing, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, okay. Mm, devil energy. Now, the devil energy here... We got the five of cups the past crying over spilled milk connections to the past 
And I don't feel like that's what the Six of Cups was about when I said the past, helping out the past. Um, but it's also cutting ties to the past. Not only is it that, this also is a connection here. A connection. Okay. It's kind of like a, a sexual connection, too. But not only is it that, I feel like with the Five of Cups being tied to this devil is letting go of that past energy of what transpired between this connection. And I say that with the Ten of Swords. Releasing that. Starting over. Page of Cups. It's not allowing this energy to take on what this connection used to be about. Ego. Pride. Not thriving together. But now it's an equal balance. Those wanted to come out. Yeah. Okay. So it's 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 releasing the fact that you're going to compromise in this situation. And you're going to work together. And I feel like when it comes to the situation, it's not it's not a burden anymore to be in this situation. And it doesn't necessarily have to just do with this situation with this these cards, these three cards and the cup too. It's saying that and I feel bad because the High Priestess came out over here. No, the Hierophant came out over here. So some of you may not have known that that commitment was coming like that. And I don't think it came out over here, if I'm not mistaken. So you may not have known. That was a surprise. Sorry. But um, I feel like this is like just purging the people, places, things that didn't serve you. And allowing yourself to understand that you deserve everything in the world. And if you look at this face on the devil, he look mad like, oh, you're not allowing me to get over on you no more? Nope. Not no more. Bye. Yeah, I used to cry over that spilled milk. Sure did, buddy. But now I see that it's two cups in the back. Yeah. Yeah. There's two cups sitting up. And those cups are half full, right? <laughs> so the past is the past. And I'm glad I learned from the past. And the Ten of Swords is putting an end to that mental conflict that held you back. Mm. It's an ending to all that. For you to go into the energy of the Page of Cups. And the page of cup to come towards you. It's the new beginning of new beginnings. Okay. It's this childlike energy of feeling free. Of feeling open. So we have some oracles. And I'm going to end this reading you guys. I honor how I want to feel. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher. I will always be guided back to the light. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. So you guys, with that being said, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please give this video a thumbs up. And if your bell notifications are not turned on, go ahead and turn your bell notifications on. I will see you guys in the next readings. Have a great day. Bye.